popping up very often these days. You hear us talk about them almost every day here on Morning Blend. So let's take a focus on your lungs for today's health beat. When the air quality is poor due to wildfires, you will feel symptoms. People who are more at risk, like young children, the elderly, and those with heart and lung disease will feel it first, but we all need to know about it. So if you feel shortness of breath or a runny nose when you're out and about among smoke, UC Davis Health Dr. Nick Kenyon says it's simple. You need to avoid it. Nobody wants to be inside now that we're coming out of the pandemic, but unfortunately when wildfire smoke gets that bad in this area, we need to avoid it. We have to spend more time indoors. We have to close the windows um, and, and run our air conditioner um, and avoid being outside and doing you know, things that we like to do. Dr. Kenyon says since 2017, these types of symptoms are getting more and more common. More and more people are coming in and complaining about them. So now he says medical professionals will have to study what the long term effects are since we're being exposed summer after summer. So if it's smoky outside, you should avoid outdoor exercise, stay inside. And if you can't wear an N95 mask, that's the best way to go about it. And that's your health beat. If you have a question or a topic that you want to see in HealthBeat, reach out to me, abc10.com links, and click on HealthBeat with Bria Love.